today we will be doing the conditions for the maximum efficiency of impulse turbine for the velocity diagram check my other videos and depending on this we have got in the last lecture the blade efficiency as 2 v w1 plus v w2 by v1 square into u efficiency is output by input so output power is tangential force into the mean blade velocity from where we got our efficiency formula and as you can see efficiency depends on two things vw1 vw2 and u as well as v1 so three things so varying these three things we can get the condition for the maximum efficiency so first let's find out the value of vw and vw2 VW1 plus VW2 equals to AC plus AF. VW1, it is from A to C. So VW1 is AC. VW2 is from A to F or FA. So AC plus AF. Now AC and AF. Their whole sum will be AC plus AF. That is FC. I have written that. Now remembering that the relative velocity we have split from this place for those who have not seen my video check the last one this is our vr1 this is our vr2 splitting from this end so this fc is divided in two half from this place so fb plus bc this is fb plus bc now one more thing cos theta equals to base by hypotenuse so base equals to hypotenuse cos theta now fb what is our fb this is our fb this is the base of this triangle this big triangle this is the base and we know base equals to hypotenuse cos theta hypotenuse is this vr2 cos theta so angle for this big triangle is this so in place of theta it is beta 2 so fb equals to hypotenuse vr2 cos theta cos theta in place of theta beta 2 vr2 cos beta 2 similarly for bc this is the triangle this is the base base equals to hypotenuse cos theta bc equals to hypotenuse vr1 cos angle beta 1 so vr1 cos beta 1 taking vr1 cos beta 1 common therefore inside we have to divide this by vr1 cos beta 1 so we get 1 plus vr2 by vr1 into cos beta 2 by cos beta 1 so our expression comes as vr1 cos beta 1 and we have given this some name the loss the change in velocity is k cos beta 2 by cos beta 1 is z now you can see bc value we got vr1 cos beta 1 same vr1 cos beta 1 now further breaking it now you can see what is the value of this bc a c minus a b we will get bc so in AC, what is the triangle now? This is the big triangle. Okay. AC is the base. And we know base equals to hypotenuse cos theta. Right? So hypotenuse is V1. And angle is alpha 1 for this big triangle. So V1 cos alpha 1. AC in place of AC, we wrote V1 cos alpha 1. And AB. This is our AB, the value for AB is U, writing it here, this is a minus sign, so minus, so we got the value of VW1 plus VW2, putting it in this equation, we get this, now again one more new thing has come, speed ratio, that is rho, is denoted by U by V1, mean blade velocity by inlet velocity for the blade. So you can see this is u by v1, here also u by v1, keeping it outside 2u by v1 in common, we get an expression something like this, check it properly, so uh, whichever place u by v1 is there, we wrote it as rho or u by v1 square, we wrote it as rho, so 2 rho cos alpha 1 minus rho 1 plus k. Z. This is our new expression. So now from here, 
we have derived it to a position where the efficiency depends now on rho alpha and kz now kz and alpha remaining constant it solely depends on the rho that is the speed ratio so if we differentiate it we get the condition for the maximum efficiency so dd rho of efficiency of the blade eta b dd rho of eta b when we do eta b this putting this value here dd rho of this expression we will get cos alpha 1 minus 2 rho equals to 0 keeping rho here rho equals to cos alpha 1 by 2 now we got the value of rho we got the value of v1 plus v2 so now if we put this value of equation this value of rho in equation 4 see here we wrote this term in the term of rho so if we put this value which we got from the differentiation we get the maximum efficiency so eta b max equals to putting the value 2 into rho rho value is this putting the equation putting the value in equation we get the maximum efficiency 1 plus k cos square alpha by 2 thank you